A deadly shooting of a tow truck driver leaves a family and community in mourning. 48-year-old Derek Cornell was working Thursday when police say he was shot and killed on the side of the U.S. 95. 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough attended a vigil in his honor tonight. She joins us from Henderson with more. Sunset Park belongs to the tow truck community. As you can see behind me, as they remember one of their own, I spoke to friends and family who shared some insight into who Derek Cornell was. Every six days on the side of the highway, we have a tow truck driver struck and killed. Triple A statistics. A scary reality for tow truck drivers from all across the state, as many showed up Sunday night to remember fellow brother Derek Cornell. Cornell was shot and killed while responding to a service call Thursday morning around 3 a.m. His friends and colleagues revving up their engines and honking their horns here at Sunset Park. Not only do we face dangers on a day-to-day -day basis, but now we have to worry about, you know, senseless violence um, during our course of duty. His son, proud of what his father had accomplished over the years and the connections that he made here in Vegas. To see the community pull together like this, uh, to see the outreach that my father had on this town and just the entire towing community. And family friends sharing with me the type of person Cornell was in and out of the truck. He definitely had a special type of personality. He always wanted to be heard. He was uh, he was a very short man, but he was also a very loud man. He, uh, he definitely got his point across anything he needed to say. Derek was also a volunteer firefighter and he was survived by his wife and four kids. Now they all live in Goldfield, Nevada. Reporting here at Sunset Park in Henderson, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now. The person suspected of killing Cornell currently in custody. We will, of course, have Derek's family's GoFundMe link attached to this story on our website, 8newsnow.com, if you'd like to help.